Hey everyone, and welcome back to the multidimensional journey. And this is your host, Ayahuasca Cart. And today we are talking about Hape or Rape. I prefer uh, saying it Hape. Um, and I'm gonna show you um, some techniques here to help you be successful in your journey with this plant medicine. Um, a little bit about my background with it and my own experience with it. Um, I've been introduced to this medicine and it's basically like a crushed powder. It's usually a blend of herbs um, with tobacco or mapacho being the base or per what I've read. Um, I've never made it in my life. I've just purchased it. Um, and I'll tell you about a little bit where I purchased it from in this video. Um, and so I discovered it through my practice in the ayahuasca ceremonies and most Westerners are beginning to learn about this really, really awesome uh, medicine. Um, and it's been used in the Amazon through tribes in different ways to um, create alertness, awareness, groundedness. Um, it's also been helped to create more um, visions in the medicine space. Um, a lot of different uses and a lot of different reasons. What I'm really going to focus on in this video is kind of like my own experiences and hope to inspire others. Um, really, the whole goal is to help you build confidence in your ability to um, receive the hape um, in the ceremony space. For me, I was always really, really nervous. Um, the whole process reminded me of like going to the optometrist when they blow air in your eye and it's an extremely uncomfortable, intense experience. Um, and actually my first experience with hape um, was pretty terrible. Um, the shaman presented the medicine to me in this most sacred and profound way. And I did the last thing that anyone wants to do, which is I pulled away and it, <sighs> the snuff went everywhere. And I felt pretty embarrassed. And although looking back on it, I know that was okay. Um, of course, those weren't my intentions. Um, my intentions was to receive it, but I had a lot of anxiety and my fight or flight system kicked in and bam, there it was. So really, for those of you who feel intimidated by hape or um, just like you, when you think about sticking something up your nose, you're like, why the fuck would I want to do that? And um, so these were some of my thoughts. And I thought, man, there's got to be someone out there who can kind of relate to this. And sometimes also like we white knuckle these experiences and I'm hopefully my you know, preparation container will help you receive this medicine with uh, with ease and expansiveness rather than feeling any sort of fear or tension around it. So first, um, I want to show you how I set up my own personal container for the experience. So as with this, um, these types of practices, you know, you're always preparing and you're integrating and that sort of thing. So I really like to use Palo Santo and I do a really specific thing. Palo Santo has four corners, so I just light it. And as I'm lighting it, I on each corner, I'm consciously calling in all four directions so north south east and west Ooh, my and maybe the directions don't want to come in right now hold on so yeah so just north south east and west so i'm calling in the energies i'm calling in my guides my ancestors you know getting into that heart space being open to reception and then i um I guess you could say I firm firm this in more by you know north, south, east, and west. And then the fire in my mind, what I've been practicing is my soul. And I kind of like bow down to my own soul and I blow into it with a hard breath because I'm honoring the fire of my own soul and I'm calling in that energy as well. And then I cleanse myself, you know, however you want to do this, whatever you feel called to. I mean, honestly, I've, you know, it's kind of fun just to find your own way with your own inner guiding intelligence. So do that. And then I also light a candle. So cleanse myself, I light a candle, and I'm ready to come into the space. Now, I wanna say this before I forget, which is you want paper and you want to blow your nose because, and you also want it for later if you end up having like an intense response to it, but <sighs> this is a good part of the preparation phase, yeah. If you're not new to plant medicines, this doesn't make you afraid because the whole thing about ayahuasca culture is very messy sometimes, so. Um, so, um, so yeah, I've opened space, I've called in, you know, and I, and I'm not necessarily showing it on camera here cause I'm instructing, but I'll get really into it. You know, I'll have some music playing in my ears, whatever song I'm called to that day. Um, I'm going to show you some, some breathing techniques that I do to really help prepare, um, the experience. So basically what you want to do is just blow all the air in your lungs right now out through the mouth, really allowing you to sink into that. And then we're going to do inhales through the nose and exhales out through the mouth. Fully in and out. Again. And out. Again. And 
I'll just pause for a moment. So really what you're doing during this, this breathing that's very simple yet profound is like you're just creating space and you're clearing whatever mental thought forms are in you. I mean, just depending on where you're at in your journey, um, you could be coming to this process really tense and fearful. So I encourage you just to stay even in the breathing until you feel a sense of relaxed um, and openness. You know, breathe until you can calm yourself enough. You don't have to be like perfect, right? But just groundedness enough. Um, I am sitting on a cushion um, and a meditation mat. So I do recommend that I'm at my practice space. I go to every day to practice this kind of thing. So also recommended. Um, so let's get into some of the hape and what that whole process is. And then we'll talk about preparing um, to receive it within yourself. So this is a tool that you use to, um, you know, oh, there were some left in there to give it to somebody else. And this is what we're preparing for. This is, this is what's worked for me. Um, by practicing on myself, I've learned to be a better giver and a receiver. Um, so this is um, a practice piece that you use for yourself. Um, and then the shorter end goes in your mouth and the longer end goes through your nose. And I'll go over more of that. And I found these on Etsy and I'll put the link below by the incredible artist. Isn't this so beautiful? It's just, it's so awesome. Like who wouldn't want to, you get, you really want to start doing it when you got tools like this. Um, and then, um, so I, a product from chakra openings this company is super incredible really really love them um they have hape and they also have other incredible um products so i'll leave their link below so depending where you're at i would say if you're a complete beginner don't start out with a lot just just get the process down start with a small amount because you're up against a lot of other things you got to hold mental and emotional and physical capacity for um and just like do more later if you wish to but start out with a small amount so I do this thing, I don't know why, but I always shake it up. And I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I just feel like I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm coming for you, Hoppe. And then um, I kind of like tap it so it settles and then I open it. Burp. And um, yeah, it's like super awesome and it smells good. And I'm gonna make sure I give you guys some tips to not make some of the mistakes I've made in the past. So I'm gonna just do a little small amount. It's not, I have my little tool here um, that my partner has been so awesome to let me borrow. Um, come get it back anytime you want. Um, so basically what you do is when you use the long end to pick it up, um, so you just want to pick it up and then like tap it and then pick it up and tap it and pick it up and tap it, pick it up and tap it until there is no more left. Beep, burp, burp, burp. So, um, so, so we're going to put this to a side for a second. Um, and along with technique, I'm also going to show you how to bring in intention and that sort of thing. But for right now, let's focus on the technique. Um, so you want to keep this thing away from your mouth until you're ready to do anything with it. Cause I've made the mistake of taking a deep breath in and you will inhale what is ever in here. So just be careful of that. I've made that mistake over and over again and it's become a great teacher. So I'm really grateful for the opportunity. Um, but my, so basically what you're going to do to prepare fully. So there is like, uh, I really like in Wim Hof's method talks about mental commitment. So you're using the breath um, to open the body and then you are um, going to use your own mental commitment, meaning you're mentally and fully committing. So you don't want to stick it in your mouth until you're fully ready. Um, and that means ready for whatever comes up, if that makes sense. So the technique is you just want to breathe deeply in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again. And the last one. Now you're holding. And you're going to hold the nostril and place this in your mouth and then get ready to blow through the mouth. Okay. And I haven't seen anyone else do this nostril closing thing, but I'm going to tell you a pro tip, pro tip. Um, so that is the technique. And I'm going to show you it in full. But let's talk about intention really quick, right? Because we have this incredible medicine. We're in this incredible process right now. So usually I'm really zoned in and I'm listening to my music and I'm like kind of like in a trance state. I'm holding this at my heart center or sometimes I hold it at like a place that I'm really wanting to work on in my chakra system. But for today, you know, the heart is a great place to just start with. Oh, my mic is hooked there. Um, so, so just hands over heart and... Um, so I'm working with the right side first. Um, so let me switch hands really quick. This is actually what I do do. I'm just trying to keep track of filming and that sort of thing. So I'm I'm doing the right side first. So um, I try to have my, my right hand opened and receptive. Um, and then eventually I'll switch it over, but it's just kind of like this good practice. Right is male, left is female. Um, but I'm ready and open to receive this side of my energy and whatever um, wants to be called to heal or insights or grounding, whatever the intention is. So right now, um, you know, I think, um, I think my intention is just made this video be to benefit, um, everyone who watches it and, um, made that intention, um, bring forth, um, yeah, 
awareness and empowerment to others so they can uh, set up a practice for themselves. Um, so I'm going to do the technique in full right now. So, and then I'll go to the other side. So we're doing the right nostril first. So <clears throat> you want to have a trash can near you? Burp. And sometimes like it takes like I don't know how much actually got in there so I like to go back for a second round uh, I would say that's more an advanced technique I guess you could say but totally up to you let it settle and sometimes I like to see how much is left in so there's as you can see there's a little bit left in there no problem whatever goes in goes in whatever went in was meant to go in um, then we want to move to the other side pretty pretty quickly here no rush though just you know just for evenness and then once again, you're just, you know, you can flatten it out or just keep it on a ball. I've tried both, both work the same, but you just want to scoop and tap as you go. Okay, and you just wipe off the excess, clear off the, the top part. And then once again, I'm going to go ahead and just close the cap of it whenever you're done. Um, I don't really, I mean, I do it out of respect for some reason. I don't, that's just what I'm guided to. And you, you would suck to spill all of this, right? So just close it as soon as you can. So now I'm on my left side. I have my left hand open, receptive, feminine energy, holding in my right, holding it for my intention. Once again, may this video benefit whoever watches it. Maybe be empowered to practice with Hoppe and uh, have a journey, you know, may their journey unfold in, in beautiful ways. And just so preparing with the breath. So in, out, in, out. In and hold. There was a good amount left in there, huh? So, <clears throat> so sometimes I'll go back and make sure, but for the purposes of this video. And then it's really just um, a matter of just allowing yourself to receive the insights and groundedness because, I mean, um, it's been really interesting for me. Uh, I've been a pretty, I've, I've been a caffeine person my whole life. And for the first time in my life, um, although, I mean, obviously this is a stimulant, I know that, um, but the first time in my life, um, I've considered quitting caffeine. Um, I've never stopped caffeine for a dieta. Um, and that might sound crazy to some people, but, um, and this is actually helping me consider it. So, um, that's great. Um, and it's actually made me look forward to my time in Peru. It's like, you know, people have told me like, oh, you know, you're gonna have to give up caffeine. And I've always thought like, oh, there's gonna be so much going on there. I won't even need it, but I'm just like, okay, well, I can see why there there's no need for a Starbucks there, you know, and this is such a, you know, <laughs> whitewashed uh, thought. I know that. And I'm I'm trying to relate to Westerners. So I apologize if that comes off offensive anyway. Um, and for anyone who's a Starbucks goer, but um, I'm just trying to speak from my heart and really from my experience to be totally authentic. Um, so really what happens for me during this time is like I'm listening to a song and I'm really getting insights and I'm in receptive mode and then I journal. Um, anything that I receive during that time and man Hoppe like gives you really great insights and then you get a chance to integrate them into your everyday life um and this is a really good smaller practice outside of ceremony that gets you into that mindset of setting up ritual setting up container you know getting engaged in a preparation process this is how I prepare for my day so I can go out and live the truth of myself and what the medicine has taught me and I found in my own practice that I mean, when I first learned about ayahuasca, I wasn't doing any of this. And you don't have to be doing any of this, by the way. Your path is your path. We all have an inner guiding intelligence. And um, I'm just here to share my own experience and hope that, you know, it might be, it might turn you on, it might give you some confidence. Um, but by practicing, oh, let me finish that thought. So yeah, just opening and then journaling and that sort of thing. And then, um, <clears throat> um, and I also do a mindfulness practice with this as well. So I am just focusing on my breath. I use the call map. It's just <clears throat> Hold on, guys. <coughs> um, welcome to the world of purging. <coughs> um, so, so um, I use the Calm app to help me meditate before before I really get into this part. And so, by practicing on your own, you will—I promise you—you you know, you'll go into receiving much more confidently because you'll have that um, that breathing technique down. That in out in out 
and then and then when you hold you kind of want to contract a little bit but not so much where you're so tense that you can't easily receive but it's kind of like tightening things up so you're really focused on the the nostril receiving um and um I'll, t- I'll tell you this too, like it won't always prepare you for every scenario. Like I remember um, I let my partner practice on me one day and he shot up into my nef- left nostril because I do think there's something about receiving from somebody else that doing practice on your own that can't replace sometimes because um, he shot up into my mouth and I threw up, which was like, I've never thrown up with hape. So that can happen by the way. So be very, very careful. Careful, If you are a beginner, um, start with a very small amount, like and honestly, before I ever picked up the hape, I just practiced shooting air up into my mouth because I was so uncomfortable with the whole process of stuff going out and through your nose. Like, I don't know about you, the whole optometry thing. And then like, I've had water up my nose and like, I've stuck things up my nose as a kid. So like, I haven't had the best like relationship with my nostril passage. So it's like, um, so yeah, I think redefining that might be something that is something that maybe you're working on or maybe not, but just kind of keep that in mind. Um, so, and then um, I end the process with some Agua de Florida. So I'll leave the recipe below. This is a recipe I found on Facebook. I've, I've made and bottled this myself. Um, this is a lavender Agua de Florida. It's made with witch hazel, everclear, and lavender, uh, lavender buds. Um, and as I step into this more and more, the more I you know, make my own stuff and step into it, I can feel more connected. So I really recommend that you make your own Agua de Florida. If this is a path that you feel really called to, there's nothing like being like, wow, like this is incredible. And you can put your own prayers into it, your own blessings, super refreshing just to close uh, the container. And of course, um, sending gratitude to the hape and to the plants and anything else you want to um, say thank you to. So you always want to end with gratitude, thanking. Um, you know, one of the most incredible things I was just having a conversation with somebody today is that when we get on these paths, we forget like how incredible it is. In, it, it's even to have access to this information. Um, if you know about ayahuasca and you are practicing with it, you, um, it's, it's like, um, there are so many people that don't know about it, you know, and that's why people are putting out information because it's so, so incredible. Um, if you don't know about hape now, now, you know, and maybe have a little more confidence in using it. And um, um, I try not to blow my nose right away because um, I let the medicine do its own thing, but you might have some driblets that you, and uh, and you will have uh, some hoppy boogers. So that is also uh, in the future for you, which aren't too bad, honestly. Um, so um, yeah, I hope you feel a little more confidence in the hoppy process. Um, and please leave your questions below, your comments. Um, and I'm really, really thankful and honored to even know about this path. Um, I'm really thankful for the people of the Amazonian tribes for centuries and centuries for sharing this wisdom with their people and the people who have brought it to me. Um, the people who have brought it to me are Westerners, just maybe like yourself, um, who've practiced with people in the Amazon. So I'm so thankful for those people too, for having the courage and the bravery to create that bridge um, and to allow me to... Um, have a life purpose. So super, super happy to be here with you guys. Um, so like I said, leave your comments below um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on building confidence with your hot relationship. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, remember why you came here. Namaste.